Let us learn the stop and chop technique of phacoemulsification. This is a cataract with grade 3 nuclear sclerosis. Let us observe the surgery. This is the main incision with a 2.8 millimeter steel keratome. A side port is made on the left side of the main incision with a lance tip knife. The side port is 3 clock hours away from the main incision. An air bubble is injected. Beneath this air bubble, tripon blue dye is applied over the anterior capsule. A bit of adrenaline is used to maintain the dilatation of the pupil. The dye is washed out. Incidence of TAS may be less if we wash out the dye. And now, the anterior chamber is filled up with 2% SPMC. Now, capsular excess. Capsular excess is done with the help of a uh, uterata forceps. One can use a cystitome to do the rexis. But we should learn uterata because in intumescent cataracts, we must use uterata forceps. Hydrodissection is done with BSS. Nucleus is tapped and the nucleus is rotated. Now again the anterior chamber is filled up with visco and now we are going to make a trench along the middle of the lens mass. The main incision is at 11 o'clock. So the trains will go from 11 o'clock to 5 o'clock. We must not push the nucleus. We must apply ultrasonic energy, emulsify the matter in front and then go forward. Ultrasound is used only when we go forward. Every time we must stop ultrasound when we come backward. The nucleus has been rotated and sculpting is being done on the other side of the trench. And when a faint red glow is seen at the bottom of the trench, it means adequate depth has been achieved. Now let us divide this nucleus into two heminuclei. Done. And now each heminucleus is held at the middle, not at the upper part in the middle part and it is chopped by the left hand instrument. Any chopper can be used. And now each nuclear piece is emulsified. When we do trench, vacuum is very less, maybe about 80 millimeter of mercury. Flow rate is 20 to 25 ml per minute. Ultrasound is according to the hardness of the nucleus. In this case, it was 60 percent. When we emulsify the pieces, ultrasound is same. Vacuum is increased to about 400. Flow rate is 40 ml per minute. And emulsification of the pieces are carried out. And now a part of the cortex has been removed by the phaco needle itself and the rest of the cortex is being removed by coaxial irrigation aspiration. The machine that we have used is Oatley from Switzerland, no financial interest. This is just for your information. So, cortical cleanup has been done and this is hydro polish. The debris that is attached to the posterior capsule is dislodged by the irrigating jet of fluid. 
the main wound is enlarged to about 3 millimeter because I am going to use a B cartridge and here goes the intraocular lens. This is a hydrophobic acrylic single piece monofocal intraocular lens. The lens is dialed by the irrigating cannula itself. And now this is moxie and now the side ports are closed by hydrating corneal stroma with BSS. And now a final lavage of the anterior chamber by the Simco. And Simco is very good in forming the anterior chamber. We just place the Simco in this way at the main wound and the anterior chamber is nicely formed. Integrity of the wounds are checked and the case is concluded. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will be helpful in your practice.